Hi guys, in this video, we're going to solve the two sum problem on lead code using Python. So the problem says, given an array of integer nums and an integer target, return indices of two numbers such that they add up to the target. So for example, you have the array 2, 7, 11, and 15, and the target is 9. So the solution is 0 and 1. And why is that? Because at indices 0 and 1, you clearly see that 2 plus 7 gives you 9. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to solve this problem. For example, we have the array 2, 7, 11, and 7. And here are their indices. And we want the target of 14. The first step is to create a dictionary. And you'll see why we need this. This will make our program run very fast. We start at the beginning, we put 2 into the dictionary, and we store its location, which is at index 0. And at 7, we add it in here, the index is 1, then 11, the index is 2, and then 7, which is 3. And all we have to do is go in here and update the index of 7, because we already have 7 inside the dictionary. Step number 2 is to find two numbers such that they add up to 14. So let's look at this array again and start with this number, number 2. Can we find a number x such that when x plus 2 gives us 14? Well, x is going to be 14 minus 2, and x is 12. And we can use this number 12, and we check inside the dictionary. Can we find number 12 in here? No, we have 2, 7, and 11. We don't have 12. So that means there is no number that adds 2 and gives us 14. So we move on to the next number in the array, which is 7. So x plus 7 is 14, x is 14 minus 7, and x is 7. We use this number 7 and look inside the dictionary. Do we have number 7 in here? Yes, we have number 7 right here. So what does that mean? That means this 7 at index 1 plus this 7 at index 3 gives you 14. So we, all we have to do is just return the indexes 1 and 3. Let's go over my Python code, which is accepted on lead code. So we have this function. The first step is to create a dictionary. Then we traverse through the array and we add the key, which is the number in the array, as well as the index or the location of that number in the array. For the second step, we traverse through the nums array again, and i is the index that we're currently at in the nums array. We calculate x, so we check is x inside the dictionary. And if it is, we want to get the index of x. So the index of x is this. That's the index of x. We also have to make sure that the index of x is not equal to the index of i in the array. So why is this the case? Well, we cannot return a list, let's say, 2 and 2, right? 2 and 2 are the same indexes. We cannot return the same indexes, but we can return if the indexes are different. For example, 2 and 3. So that's why we have to make sure that they're not equal. And if we're able to find x in the dictionary, then we simply return the two indices i and d of x. So after this for loop, and let's say we didn't return a list yet, then we know for sure that we cannot find two numbers that add up to the target, so we have to return none. So that's basically it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share. And see you in my next video.